the latest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 16 episode 8 just aired and we're about to get into the gaggy and not so gaggy looks that the queens served us on the runway this episode. Now the category for this week's runway was Dancing Queen where the queens were expected to showcase a look inspired by a style of dance and we will be ranking this look from the bottom look to the top look. But before we get right into the ranking just like I love to do I always like to hear from you guys first. Rank the queens in the comment section from the last look to the first look and let's see if we end up a match at the ending of this video so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video in ninth place she is musical theater we have the super talented plasma and for her dancing queen run representation she had on this pink short dress and she was representing for the tapestry type of dance and honestly was i living for this absolutely not i definitely thought that plasma should have taken the opportunity to really go for it in terms of the actual fashion presentation on the runway instead of heavily relying on the performance aspects of it now this look for me is just more on the basic spectrum for me and i can't lie i really thought there was going to be a reveal at some point because i really thought to myself there was no way that this was going to be the stand in own look now however about this watch you cannot deny that she really served it in the performance aspect of the runway the tap was really great the tap was tapping and i have to really appreciate that the big question however would definitely be was that enough to save her for the bottom placement today i absolutely don't think so so yeah this look from miss plasma is definitely number nine on the rankings today in eighth place she doesn't set the bar she flips it we have the amazing queen of flips maya iman lapage and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this multi-colored jumpsuits with white puffy sleeves and she was representing for the 90s hip-hop style of dance and for this one i wasn't really exactly sure what i was looking at now as soon as she turned the corner i'm not sure i immediately thought to myself oh this is 90s hip-hop and that in itself is a very big problem now her references were very girl group coded very tlc very destiny's child very swv and when i put that up against what she wore in that category against the era i'm not sure that this is super recognizable now maybe if she did a popular reference point that was instantly recognizable that would have worked but i don't think she did and that is just what takes me out of the illusion of it all now both the outfit and the presentation were really not stands out tonight and for that she takes eight plays on today's rankings in seventh place we have the super talented q and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this multi-color jumpsuit by jeffrey kelly designs and she was representing for the robot style of dance and while this look was decent in terms of construction this was definitely not my favorite when it came to the runway now firstly the color combination just looks a bit random i don't feel like they went well together and it was giving very much visual chaos also her presentation on the runway was just really very awkward and i know she was trying to be very robotic but i feel like it just came across really weird now this is definitely the first week where i'm not super in love with what q has been serving on the runway and i just really hope that she brings it next week well next week is another sewing challenge so she just might overall this dancing queen outfit served by q was just a bit meh to me and it takes seventh place on our rankings today in sixth place we have the queen of mars dawn and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this black and white flowy dress by girl make clothes and tonight she was representing the polka dancing style and this was an okay look now this was just fine nothing too out of the ordinary however i do appreciate how clean this look is and how it was ultimately presented on the runway the mixtures of colors with the red the yellow the black the white the cream it all just comes together and really just creates a cohesive look now the hair is so pretty and the makeup is so done classic done style I wasn't too crazy about the choice of shoes i just think it looked really bulky on her and really cut her leg off in a really weird way but maybe that's just me the presentation of this was all right and nothing really exciting i just wish she got into it more with you know the overall styling of this overall i think this was a very safe middle of the road look for me and so it's number six on the rankings 
In fifth place, she is the Morgiana Dupree. We have the stunningly gorgeous Morphine Love Dion. And for her dancing queen runway look, she had on this polka dot red and black dress with frills, showcasing the flamenco style of dance. And this is great. I mean, this is not a bad look. First of all, that red just looks so good and so beautiful against her skin tone. I also really love the, you know, the use of different fabric to create this overall look, the pleather moments and the shape fun just really comes together also beautifully the hair is laid the makeup is stamped as per usual and it is giving me very hot flamenco realness for the presentation she executed that so beautifully and i really love every moment of it how energetic that was now was this a great look yes was this the most memorable of the night i don't think so and that's why it's number five on this ranking in fourth place she is the absolute villain of the season we have the amazing plain jane and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this silver beaded fringy dress made by her and big atlas and she was showcasing tonight the latin ballroom style of dance and you cannot deny that this was beautiful this was stunning and this was definitely ballroom i really love the structure of the borders area with that sort of like silver embroidery i also really love the fringy moments happening at the bottom part of the dress it just really created such beautiful movement when she moved the hair the makeup and the accessories are just all on point the only two things i will take away from the entire presentation of it all was the way she moved also subduedly and i just really don't think that in itself really captures the essence of what we know latin ballroom to be about secondly there were two kind of the same fringy look on the runway for you know the ballroom dance category and i think between those two looks i really liked you know that one more i will get right into that one in a minute overall this look was still studying and it's still hard and that's why it's it's number four on today's ranking in third place the natural disaster has arrived we have the amazing tsunami muse from the house of muse and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this heavily beaded fringy bodysuit moment showcasing the salsa you know style of dance and between this look and plains look i think i vibed more with this look a little bit more because you know they looks kind of similar but this look just you know had more zhuzh to take it there for me and that's why i'm ranking it a bit higher than plain's look now first of all let's talk about this mesh against her skin toe the illusion was definitely illusioning also the beatings were so well done that it created you know sort of like beautiful movement when she moved and when she danced i really love the hair i really love the mark it's always stamped and i really love the way she just presented this on the runway it was so effortless step by step she won me over and i loved everything about it to be honest overall i was sold on this look and that's why it's ranking third on the rankings today up next she is the grand dame diva we have the talented powerhouse miss sephira crystal and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this sapphire blue and orange two-piece showcasing the drag you major red style of dance and even though this you know entire concept is kind of a made-up type of dance i mean when it when it comes to like drag you it was still also good now i really love the style and the color of this outfit on her that bejeweled one leg pants and the fringe moments at the top is so beautifully executed in terms of fashion now let's even talk about the performance and the presentation on the runway it was so energetic it was so vibey i really wanted to get up on my seat and dance with her that's how good it was the hair is to the gods and the makeup was eating good but those shoes though hmm, it's still very much a mystery to me if you know what i mean overall this look was a very strong look and you know it's definitely a hit from her and it's second on the ranking in first place and the winner of this week's runway category she is our resident banana queen we have the eccentric nymphia wayne and for her dancing queen runway look she had on this beigey brown intricate long dress with a headpiece made by her showcasing the japanese buta style of dance and this right here was the moment now you cannot tell me that this did not gag you when it came down the runway because it surely gagged me i loved love loved this it was very mythical it was very evocative and it was very draggy drag drag i really love the texture of the dress 
dress and those shredded intricate detailing on you know the bottom half of the dress i also really love the headpiece it was so extravagant and it just really tied everything together the makeup moment was very chef's keys and those nails oh those talons scared the living daylight out of me but you know what i lived for it now for the performance aspect the way she moved was so mesmerizing you know she definitely did sell this look to us overall this look ate the girls up and i think this is what ultimately saved her from being in the bottom this week it's a gaggy look i have no notes and that's why it's the best look for this episode all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i gave you guys my personal ranking of the runway that happened this week on rupaul's drag races in 16 episode 6 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot but i would like to hear from you guys were we a match in the ranking what would you have changed who would you have kept higher who would you have kept lower let me know in the comment section until i see you guys it is bye for now au revoir